Kim Hyora stunned everyone with her acting in the K-drama called The Glory. She portrayed a school bully, but it seems her character wasn't that far away from her own life. Reports of Hyora being a bully when she attended a school started to spread recently. Let's get into it. On September 6, Dispatch released a lengthy report including interviews with approximately 10 former classmates regarding accusations of Kim Hyora being a member of what was allegedly an Ilgen school bullying group called Big Sangji at Sangji Girls Middle School. The group known as Big Sangji is allegedly notorious for extortion, assault, verbal abuse, and other crimes. Big Sangji's alleged victims stated that they had extorted money to give to the group's more senior students. They asserted that Kim Hyora was a member who sent them on errands to buy cigarettes and demanded money, and that the members would curse and hit them if they didn't have the money. In an interview with Dispatch, Kim Hyora stated that Big Sangji was the name of an online community that she was a member of rather than an Ilgen group. She further claimed, although I've been hit by the older students without reason, I have never hit a friend or a younger student. In the interview, Kim Hyora apologized and admitted to being a bystander to the activities. Furthermore, the report detailed an incident in which Kim Hyora was punished as an accomplice to a younger student for stealing money from a classroom, but both Kim Hyora and X stated that Kim Hyora had no part in the incident and that X had stolen the money on her own accord with the intention of helping Kim Hyora who was having financial difficulties. In response to the report, Kim Hyora's agency Graham Entertainment released the following statement. We apologize for causing concern to so many people because of the sudden news. We're preparing an official statement, so we kindly ask that you wait. We once again apologize with heavy hearts. Hyora recently wrapped up her latest drama The Uncanny Counter 2, and according to Dispatch, the actress asked for the article to be withheld until the drama ended in order not to cause any harm to the cast. I will share her letter that she sent to Dispatch reporter Kim So Young. If it's too long for you to listen to, then skip this part of the video as the letter is quite long. But I think we need to hear her reasons why she was part of the bully group. Dear reporter Kim So Young, The heat has crept up on us. On such sunny days, while you must be busy with work, you took time to meet with me and put so much effort into my story. I'm both grateful and apologetic. I had a lot I wanted to say. But when I met Oo again after all these years, I realized that saying all those things might not matter after all. This may be a burden, but I would like to still share some of my thoughts with someone, and so I'm writing this letter to you. I am fully aware that I went astray in my youth when I was immature, and I have lived at times being embarrassed about who I was, at times reprimanding myself for it, at times scrutinizing myself for forgetting. Ever since I was young, I was either at the center of attention, or the target of bullying and exclusion, because of my uncommon name and uncommon appearance. With those feelings of inferiority, I entered my second year of middle school, and against my will, issues arose over my older cousin. I was in a situation where I just could not stand still and tell people to leave me alone, and so I decided that being someone at the center of attention was better than being bullied or excluded. It was an immature decision. But the reason that I performed in theater, and eventually went on to work on drama productions, was because I believed in my heart that I was never someone who picked on the weak and the marginalized, I never harmed or bullied anyone repetitively for pleasure. In my heart, I thought that I could swear this, at least to myself. When you are young and you lack the ability to make morally sound decisions, you receive discipline at school. It is a place where discipline is taught through lessons and in the classroom. Back in those days, I made many mistakes. I was not a model student. The existence of this group that the others talked about, and my own existence itself, was cause for fear in those around me, and I learned that clearly today. I am regretting those facts. But as a student, I received guidance from good teachers, and in order to earn their trust, I vowed in the second semester of my third year of middle school that I would become a better person that I would become someone others could trust. 
So from then on, I chose to be a better student and began searching for things I was good at in high school, and ever since I have lived diligently with the intention of being a good influence on others. When I heard that the other classmates had sent in reports about me being the leader of a certain feared group, many thoughts struck me at once. Even now, I am the type of person who prefers to act rather than speak, and so it seems that many people find that I have an intimidating aura at first encounter. Some may keep a respectful distance from me. So when I heard that in my youth, many underclassmen found me an existence that instilled fear, I did not know how to react. I never imagined that was the case. I was never a perpetrator who led harmful pressuring or bullying. Even so, because I was a student who had spent some time wandering astray, my image became one of a fearsome leader to my younger classmates. I am reflecting on my past, on my complacency and silence. As an adult, my demeanor became my strength, which is why I was unimaginably shocked after hearing of this reputation from my youth. Today, my past experiences have allowed me to become someone who tries her best to do good, offer help to those who are in need, offer advice to others who want to act, do work that I want to do, and find work that I need to do. I do not mean to say that I was a good child in the past. I admit that there was a time when I was immature. But I want to say this, that I did not harm anyone without good reason. In writing, this may all sound like excuses. But because you, the reporter, spent much time and effort in this story, I am aware that this cannot be covered up as if none of it ever happened. I cannot turn back time and erase my past, but I am sure that after my troubled youth, I worked hard to become a mature adult and also do what I love, acting and performing. If you could just give me one chance, I want to show you a good side through a good production. Or if you don't want to see me in any more productions, I will show you that I can change and grow, with time and effort. Please help me. I will live always repaying my debts. Thank you for reading this long letter. I'm sorry that we could not meet for pleasant reasons. Please take care of your meals, and thank you for your valuable time. We have seen many Korean celebrities being accused of being a bully in school. Many turned out fake and some admitted it. Usually Korean celebrities are accused of being bullies in the forums, I don't know if any other victims contacted straightaway dispatch. Well, this way Dispatch would get sued if Hayora wanted to sue them, but she decided to respond to Dispatch trying to explain herself. Also, why now? Before Glory, Hayora was not a well-known actress. Maybe that didn't rub into the victims' faces, but once Glory came out, she became well-known. And especially her character was a bully, so why accusation didn't come out then? I know we shouldn't jump to the conclusion when we hear bullying controversies. But this time seems different, as Dispatch reported. In Nam Joo Hyuk's case, Dispatch was a huge help. They interviewed people from his former school to find out if he was part of a bully group, but everyone from his school, schoolmates and teachers said nice things about him and he wasn't a bully. Sadly, in Hyora's case dispatch while interviewing her former classmates, Hyora was portrayed as a bully in school. What do you all think about this? These cases are just heartbreaking, no matter what the truth is. Either way, Hyora's career will be hurt. The effect of these accusations can be felt already. She was supposed to appear on SNL Korea as a host, but due to accusations, the episode was cancelled. Ahead of her now cancelled appearance on SNL Korea Season 4, Kim Hyora shared, There are so many facets to me that I want to share. I was planning to reveal a lot of these through SNL Korea. Despite these recent happenings, I strive to perform at my best alongside the show's talented crew. However, there were reports that the show was cancelled not because of bullying accusations but because of the nature of the episode. In the MZ Office segment scripted for Kim Hyora, she was due to portray a hostile workplace manager named Kim, known for verbally abusing her junior colleagues. Some of the lines given to Kim Hyora in the script were, with a laughing tone, are you scared? It's just a joke, are you scared, so you think it's just a joke? 
can't you read the room? Given the uncontrolled and volatile nature of her character, mistreating her subordinates based on her whims, the production team decided to cancel the episode following the allegations of Kim's real-life involvement in school violence. Yeah, if they kept her for the episode with the script, it wouldn't look good. But she is going to stay in her musical Frida. Which is surprising, as whenever controversies come up, celebrities lose all their projects. Now Kay Netizen's reactions. Does she have no conscience to even film a school violence drama? I guess celebrities are now set to school violence perpetrators as default. She was a perfect fit, I guess it was based on her real life experience, there are going to be a lot of people who are haunted by nightmares again since the drama was so successful. How can she deny she was a bully when there are so many people who remember that time? She basically portrayed her real-life self on the glory the little bullies who are growing up right now, don't you dare think about becoming famous. The world has changed so your past will be exposed even if you regret what you did, there is the truth in this comment, whatever you do wrong in the past can be exposed later. We are all probably in a dilemma. You feel sorry for the victims but, it was in the past and the accused person could have changed and regrets the past. Hyora is being dragged with more rumors. But this is just nonsense. Kim Hyora and Lee Ah Jin are facing allegations that they bullied a fellow actor. On September 6, a post titled Incident When Kim Hyora and Lee Ah Jin Sexually Harassed an Actor became viral on online message boards. The poster alleges actor was harassed by Kim Hyora and Lee Ah Jin in Instagram livestream, writing, musical actress A spoke with fans on Instagram live often. She'd answer questions she received through her Instagram stories. She's married and never dated publicly, and she never announced she was getting married either. The poster continued that it then began receiving questions about whether she was pregnant or whether she plans to get pregnant, and netizens reported the comments. According to the poster, the name of the person you reported shows up if you are following them, and fans discovered that those sending the questions about pregnancy were Kim Hyora and Lee Ah Jin. This is just reaching. Asking if they have plans to get pregnant is not harassment. First time I heard somebody thinking it would be harassment. But probably, a lot of more stuff like this is going to come out, as whenever a scandal happens everyone jumps in. What do you all think about this? For me, honestly is just heartbreaking. I loved her in Bad and Crazy and The Glory. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our upcoming K-drama, K-pop content. Thanks for tuning in.